With Honkai Starless Puff System, a large majority of the character types have been covered. We have our healers, damage dealers, supports, and so on. However, I do feel like we're still missing one type of a character. I'm talking about the type of a unit that gets stronger the longer the battle plays out. The only thing that we have that is somewhat similar is Su Shang. Her ability gives her a damage increase to her sword stance every time it triggers. However, this has a hard cap as to how strong it can get, which would not be a problem if the limit was not so easy to reach. The battle does not have to go on for very long to max out this bonus. But there is another problem, because the only challenging content has a strict time limit, which would apply a soft cap as to how strong these units can get. This poses the question of, will these characters be strong enough to beat the hardest content in the game? For the sake of an argument, let's say they can. And to give you an example of how a stacking unit could work, imagine a DPS that has the lowest base attack of any unit, however, every time they attack an opponent, their attack will increase by 5%. This would have no limit. People will have to find out if it is worth to invest in offensive stats or will full speed be more optimal to gain as many stacks as quickly as possible. What is optimal can also be different depending on the game mode. In Forgotten Hall it may be more beneficial to build offensive stats to save a cycle. However, in Simulated Universe where the bosses are much tankier and the battles last much longer, it may be more worth to build full speed and get the offensive stats from stacks and blessings. This arguably would make those characters more unique than the current DPS, as right now most people either don't care about speed at all, or get their units to 134 and then invest everything else into offense regardless of who the character is. But if you had units that get stronger every time they act, this might encourage even the more casual side of the player base to experiment a little with their units to see what yields better results. Of course, this is just one example, but the idea of a unit that keeps getting stronger in battle can be applied to any role. You could have healers, buffers, or tanks that get stronger throughout the course of battle, which is why I think it is a missed opportunity. It is more than a one-and-done gimmick. And to be perfectly honest, I think we'll get a unit like this in the future. And Sushang's ability could have been just Hoyo testing the waters and seeing how the community would react to a unit of this type. And yeah, I know this is a bit of a stretch. But regardless, let me know what you think about these types of units down in the comments below. I try to get one of those videos out every Friday, but until then, goodbye.